we just looked at a space nearby, um, and this was our old stomping grounds here in 30th Ave in Astoria, Queens. And so, but our old office was farther from here. Yeah, it was much farther in a, in a more secluded area, but still part of Astoria proper. But this space that we just looked at is like, this is the center of Astoria. This yeah. is where we would love to be. You were just talking about Judy and Punch. Yeah, this was my, you know how many episodes of Giant Slayer were prepped over a couple of craft beers alone in that bar? Honey, I gotta go do some work. <laughs> gotta do some work. You have a child now. <laughs> <laughs> when McDee first sent the thing, it was like, there's a space on 30th Avenue and 35th Street. I was like, that can't be true. <laughs> like, there's no way that's available and affordable because that is the perfect spot. Right, so with this space we just looked at, it's, it's pretty perfect. Uh, it's a wide open space. It faces the back of the building, so you're not facing this busy street, which constantly has, you know, fire engines and people shooting each other. Um, but uh, it's constant, constant gunfire. It's constant murder. God, that's what that's what New York is. <laughs> Just murder. It's the murder capital of the world. <laughs> There's a problem with the HVAC, which is probably going to be a problem no matter where we go, and that the space that we were looking to record. It uh, right above it is where the air conditioning is, and so we don't really know what to do. What is your thought on that space, the first space? Like, definitely can't do it, hundred percent. No, not hundred uh, percent. But I mean, that that HVAC system is an issue. It's just that sound lead is you can't just magically remove it. So this is Northern Boulevard. This is like this takes you into another part of Queens, but it also connects Astoria to. Long Island City. Um, Which is the second place we're going to look at spaces. Long Island City! Used to be a uh, just a wasteland of factories, abandoned factories, like pre-industrial revolution factory. But then, like most places in New York, it became the hottest place to live in town. There's a building where like all of the Mets' wives live. Uh, because they're never- <laughs> By around. mandate. By mandate. Any Mets' wives? Hey, Mets' there? wives! Dave, Mrs. Wright? Does David Wright still play for this? Yes, play. There's two notable things to me about Lyon City as far as the glass cannon goes, which is A, it is the original home of Skidmar. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where he was living for the many years when we started the Glass Cannon podcast. He would commute from uh, Long Island City. He would walk. It is where he played his Rise of the Rune Lords game. I would take this train that's over our head right now to his place to uh, sit in on his Rise of the Rune Lords game. And it is also, fun fact, I don't know if you remember this, it is where I set the original handler meeting in the original season one, episode one of Get in the Truck. All right, we have to see both of these spaces in the next 14 minutes, because then I have to go. That shouldn't be a problem. We'll just walk in. What's the HVAC law situation? Yeah, where's the vent? Where's the vent? All right, we gotta go, we gotta go. The first place we looked at, I think I'm going to call him right after I see this next place and make a bid because uh, that place we just saw was terrible. Um, it looked like uh, a prison. It looked like a prison. <laughs> it, it looked like a ward where you're keeping prisoners that have gotten out of control or something. The only thing I don't like about the other place now is the shared bathroom situation because we're a little spoiled. We had our own bathroom in our old office. However, I wanted to go check it out, and so I lied. I was like, can I just see what the bathroom looks like? Because uh, I really had to go. I drank a gallon of coffee on the way there. <laughs> why didn't you just say, can I use the bathroom? Well, that's what, so that's why I said, can I just check? Well, I, wanted, I didn't want to talk about what I had to do. I had to Can pee. I pee in your room? Can I urinate in this place? I, I like to <laughs> urinate in every building to see if it's going to be the right fit for me. The real estate agent didn't have a key, which is fine. It's a little weird. He should probably have a key to the bathroom. So he knocked on one of these businesses, and this woman answered and just was, did not want to give us the key to the bathroom. But I really had to go at this point. And also my bladder assumed that I was able to go. And so it was, it was ready. And so it's like, <laughs> she's like, it's like on deck. And it was a whole thing up until she opened it. Um, really? So it's going to be a little weird if that's our neighbor. Because clearly she doesn't like us and she's weird about bathrooms. You know what we should do is knock on her door after we move in with our bathroom key. Just jingle it in her face. And be like, hey, in case you ever lose yours, we made some extras. <laughs> and here's an invite to our Easter soiree. <laughs> You guys have an Easter party? So there's breweries around here. Um, what's the brewery that I used to go to? Long Island City. Uh, uh, Big Alice. LIC Beer Co. Big Alice is a little further down. And then there's that place that we, oh, I'm in the bus lane. Oh, I'm, and I'm, there's a bus. And there's a bus. Great. You can park there. Boom. That's an actual spot. Dude, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If this place is this way better. 
the fact that we could just go to LIC Beer Co. and have fresh <laughs> Bruce and Tuesdays delivered to the office daily. <laughs> I can't park here. Yes, you can. My car is too large. No, Look at how close I am to this guy. You pulled in wrong. What do you mean I pulled in wrong? I have no space on either Dude, side. Dude, you can be sticking out a little bit. doesn't matter. Pull up. You have room up there. You've got like two, three feet up there. How do you see that? Just, Just the turn place. the wheel all the way this way and move forward. Why? You have room. No, I'm, I'm staying here. <laughs> James is going to hit us. This is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, man. We have some stuff. No. <laughs> No, we do it. We, we have some stuff to talk about. So, so you went into today and you were like, I feel like today we're getting an office. I said that to you outside of the space when, when you first showed up 10 minutes late. I was like, <laughs> that was <laughs> unnecessary and rude. I was not 10 minutes late. I said to Matt when he first rolled up, I was like, Joe will be here in 45 minutes. <laughs> um, I said, we're going to find a space today. And I said that for two reasons. One, optimistic. Two, I don't want to come back and do this again. Exactly. Um, and that one is honestly the most important. <laughs> now, the first, I mean. You're like, what is it? A, a car wash? Yeah, we'll work it out. <laughs> I don't want to come back in the city. This used to be a car wash? We'll take it. <laughs> we'll deal with the soundproofing of the wide open garage doors later. <laughs> we have two spaces, basically. And I think we have a shot at both of them. And they couldn't be more different. Uh, but I, really, just in terms of location and uh, price. Obviously, um, we have the one in Astoria. And audio. And audio. The one in Astoria on 30th Ave is beautiful. Beautiful building. It just feels a little more private and nicer. Um, it is not as big, and there, the HVAC would have to be rerouted or completely turned off. Like it, it, and it might not be able to be. It might not be able to be, which is going to be, there's, there's a problem to be dealt with there. Uh, but what the thing is, what we know about that space is there's already an offer in. There's already an offer. Four or five years at 20% more than that other place. Mm -hmm. So we'd have to bid a little bit over and try to get them to want to do just three years. Which right. Is, that's the tough The sell. guy could also be uh, posturing and there is no other offer, you know, because... That's true. That was my favorite part. Was, that was my favorite part where he was just like, the thing is, I just want to be honest with you guys <laughs> because I just want to be a straight shooter with you because you seem cool. Somebody put an offer in on this <sighs> literally yesterday. Like crazy. Four, on my walk over here. On my walk over. It was wild. We've been showing this place for a month. No offers. And then an hour and a half ago, a guy came out of the woodwork, offered exactly full price. <laughs> so weird. And wanted to do a 10-year lease, which is unheard of. <laughs> I've just been driving, by the way, and just totally missed 30th Ave because I was so excited. <laughs> yeah, me too. I didn't even think. <laughs> I thought you were driving me home to my old apartment. I, I was driving to my apartment. <laughs> and just going to make you walk back from my old apartment. You remember we talked about that, where that market is? Oh, we, we talked about getting that for the first class Canon office. Oh, we did. Remember no, was, I uh, thought you were going to say that like we had a long, drunken conversation about oh, yeah. Della's fall. Uh, no, Gormley's. Gormley's fall from the, Right there uh, on the corner. This episode, corner right here is where 50. we argued for an hour and a half in the middle of the night. At like four in the morning. Outside. Drunk. Right Arguing there about flying corner. rolls. Yeah. I want to know how close a Dunkin' Donuts is to the LIC space. I, I wanna, I'm gonna go on record and say that's the deciding factor. Oh dear. Oh, why couldn't this Are you kidding me? There is a Dunkin' Donuts on the block at the corner of 21st Street and 41st Avenue. Donkeys. Wow. I mean, it is a block and a half away. <laughs> he just said it's a deciding factor. I wanted one that was further because I like to get my steps in. <laughs> so I've decided. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs>